sizes of uh, the sword. This would, this would be the midsection of the sword and it kind of tapers down to the tail end. That's enormous. How big can these fish get? This one would, would have probably gotten out to about here, maybe, for the front. It would have contained the belly, etc. Um, but for... Well, what I'm going to do right now is just to start a make a couple of stakes and put it on the tray so people can see it and maybe get drawn to it. That's what a nice one looks like right there. Good uh, good contrast of color between the, the meat and what they call the bloodline as opposed to here's, here's something that was probably caught a little differently not that much older but just uh, a little more oxidation on the meat, probably in, in storage somewhere too long, or maybe even got too cold on, on the uh, on the boat. You can see the difference. Which one would you want to eat? You know, because that's uh, there's not really good definition there. You want good definition, good clarity. Small bloodline is nice because people, some a lot of people don't like that. They think that's kind of kind of gamey and fishy. So out of that, we'll make a nice nice piece for two so when somebody walks in and looks in the showcase they say yeah well perfect I'll take that my wife will take the other half and off we go so we'll make another we'll make two or three of those to make a nice little display of swordfish is this like hard to cut or is like a really good knife uh, I did sharp but I gave it a little hone this morning so it's not not really dull but it's not absolutely and I don't know if you can see that, but there's, you see that little, the, the uh, film on the knife? No film and film. Kind of hard to see, but anyway, fat, fat content in fish are the most important thing there is between, for moisture and taste. Some fish eat well, they get fat, it's like, like, like a human, they eat a lot, they'll get, they'll get round and two and have a lot of fat on them. You want your animals with fat to eat, just so when you eat them, they're, so much more tasty. Fat means uh, moisture and flavor. And same with fish. So you can see all this. See all that. Now you can, it's, it's hard because uh, it's, that, it's there. So this was, a, I got lucky with this one. This was a nice, uh, a nice fatty fish, as they say. Here's the other side of it right here. I'll put, I'll put a, we'll just make a full. Like we'll just keep cutting sword here and make the full tray. Maybe this, when you get down to this small side, it's, the steaks get a little dainty and you, some people cube them up and make kebabs out of it. What, what's like, what's kind of like what people usually make with swordfish? Do they sword? just kind of like fry it? I think they, they uh, grill it actually, Bro broil or grill. Put a nice little oily lemony topping on it and uh, salt and pepper. All, all the fish, all you really need, all, all fish needs really is just uh, butter, oil, lemon and pepper, salt, off you go. So, there's a nice sword tray for the gang tonight. Oh, wow. We'll get lucky and sell a little of that. Are like the spirals in it, like um, layers of fat? It probably is fat. Yeah, there's more near the, uh, the where it's concentrated up here by the skin, you know, like like everybody. Yeah. Now, let me put this baby back on ice for the next crowd after that, after that tray's been. going with one fish, like usually? Like one Swordfish fish. has a heck of a good shelf life. But that should be gone. That'll be gone by Friday and I'll have to get another chunk probably. That's a, that's a staple of this business. At least it was a generation ago. Everybody had, everybody ate uh, haddock. 